Hi, I'm Dr. Joe and I am to lovethatface.com. And if you follow our channel, which I hope you do, we almost have 22 million views. I'm a cosmetic facial surgeon in Richmond, Virginia. I do cosmetic facial surgery from here to here, and I don't do boobs, bellies, and butts. I'm a teacher, I'm an author, and I'm a surgeon, and I love going to work. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about cheek implants. And I, uh, I do a lot of cheek implants. I see patients from all over the country for this, some out of the country. And it's a really neat procedure for several reasons. So first of all, as we age, we lose cheek volume. And that can happen really even in your late 30s. So it's a situation where uh, patients that are losing cheek volume, they look tired, they look gaunt. And when people get sick, that's one of the, the first things to, to go. So sometimes it'll even make patients look sick. So let's talk about what are the ways to restore cheek volume. Well, you can put uh, fat in there. I'm not a big fan of fat because it's very hard to reverse. And when you put fat in there, uh, you usually have to do several treatments. And it's just not something that, that uh, I do a lot of. And I also see patients from time to time who have fat injections and it's uneven. And again, it's very hard to reverse. You can put filler in there. We do that here. That's a very easy uh, way to address this. It's just expensive and you have to repeat it. If you do filler two or three times, you could have paid for what cheek implants cost. So the things that make cheek implants such a great option is they are permanent because they go in through the mouth, they're fixated to the cheekbones, so they can't ever go anywhere, okay? As you age, they're not gonna droop and they're permanent. However, they're reversible, meaning that if you want bigger ones or smaller ones or you want them out, it, they're very easy to change. And there's not many things in cosmetic uh, surgery that are permanent but reversible. So that's what makes it such a, a, a strong option. So. Uh, I do this with uh, IV sedation or general anesthesia. The patient is asleep. We make small incisions inside the mouth and make a little pocket and then these go on the cheekbone. The recovery for this is, you know, a week and a weekend, probably about 10 days. Now, some patients can have swelling longer, but most people look pretty good uh, by then. And uh, it's a very predictable operation. Uh, these implants come in a lot of different sizes and shapes. And the actual procedure takes less than an hour. So uh, when people come from out of town, they usually come the afternoon before their surgery and we have our evaluation. A lot of times we've done this virtually beforehand. And then uh, we do their surgery the next morning. And I like to have people stay here two or three days uh, after their surgery. I just wanna answer a question today because I get a lot of people that come in for a consultation or they uh, send me uh, a request, an email, a YouTube or Ask Dr. Joe from my website and they say, I want cheek implants so I can lift this or lift this, okay? Cheek implants really don't lift anything on your face, all right? Now this is a cheek implant. This is the biggest cheek implant that I would put in. I rarely would even put this in, but I'm just using for demonstration purposes here. So when you put a cheek implant in somebody, it, it's in the deepest tissue, so it's on the bone, and we put little screws to hold it in place, so it's permanent. It can't go anywhere, and as you age, it's, it's gonna stay there and provide uh, support. Now, a cheek implant, projects okay so you got to think of it similar to like a breast implant okay if you have breast implants it's not going to lift your belly all right it's not going to help your your uh, muffin tops or the fat hanging over your belt right it just it projects so cheek implants project and that projection sometimes can give you a little bit of improvement in the nasolabial folds but it's not going to do this okay and it's not going to do this so when you're getting cheek implants, the real reason to do that is to augment a hypovolumized midface. As we age, we start to lose fat in this area. And some patients just hereditarily or developmentally, they, they always have flat cheeks. So we put in a cheek implant to improve that area. So I do a lot of different types of facial implants. And again, when we do the cheek, you know, can you get any lift out of that, out of an implant or filler? Well, very localized. But when patients come in and they're talking about their jowl 
or this area or this area, it, it's not going to lift it. Okay. So I hope that answers the question. Do cheek implants lift your lower face? The answer is no. If you have, um, if you have sagginess or drooping of those areas, then you probably are a candidate for a face and neck lift uh, or some other type of procedure. Hope that makes sense. I'm Dr. Joe and I am too. Lovethatface.com. I do this for free, but my wife won't let me. So I want to show you some before and after pictures and I could show you probably an hour worth of them that I have on my website and these are just a small fraction of the cheek implants I've done over the last three decades and uh, this is a, a very dramatic case obviously. Uh, this is another case cheek implants and chin implant on a young lady. Uh, this is a uh, male model who had uh, cheek implants before and after. This is uh, another young lady before is on the left, after is on the right. Here's a patient I did a facelift and uh, cheek implants and that made a big difference. Another uh, cheek implant patient that uh, is dramatic. This patient had uh, cheek and chin implants. Uh, this patient had a facelift and cheek implants. You can see the difference. This patient had facelift, laser, cheek implants, eyelids, so total package. Same thing here. This patient had facelift, brow lift, cheek implants, and laser. So always be a teacher. Always be a student. Thank you so much for the greatest gift of all, which is your time. I'm Dr. Joe Niamh, too. LoveThatFace.com.